For the next seven days, I'm going to use Windows on this S25 Edge. I was so excited, I shared my experience with random old people in my neighborhood and blew their freaking minds. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I tested it for two seconds. My wife actually filmed me. Man on her phone because she thought I rediscovered DNA or something like that. Every human is a caveman. Full fat windows on this thin ass phone. This could potentially change my life if this experiment goes well. Like I won't even need a laptop. I will exclusively use my S25 Edge to do all my phone and computing needs. I'll test doing general admin work on Windows via S25 Edge. I will also test pro apps like After Effects, Premiere Pro, and even try to edit a podcast in Audition. I will also game on it whilst I'm out on cellular network. Here's my choice of tools to do this experiment. I'm going to use the S25 Edge, this Nufi Air 75 V3, and the MX Masters 3 as my mouse. I will also pack my PS5 controller to play games on Steam and this Xreal One glasses as my main monitor. And the host computer is a GMR gaming computer. I'll put the specs on the screen. For the seven of you guys that are actually wondering how I got this to work, you download an app called Parsec, okay, on your Windows computer. It's also available on Mac OS and Android. You sign up, you go onto your Android device, you log in, and literally your computer will be there. So you just hit connect, boom, takes two seconds and you're connected. Pretty cool. Right now, I've got an editor that's actually using my PC right now, using this very method. This is crazy. All right, so back to the video. So if this is what I'm bringing, the obvious question, why don't you just use a MacBook Air, you nut job? Well, MacBook Air doesn't have a 4070. So let's do an actual full day in the life. Let's go. Morning, bloody humans. Currently 5.42 and I'm gonna take my edge. I turned on my desktop PC so I can parsec into it later, then headed to the gym. After doing my legs, I got to a nearby cafe. Guys, this is the best of first worlds. This is like, I've got Dex mode on tap. I've got my WhatsApp and applications that I want on my phone. And then you just press this button and I've got Windows 11. And all the shortcuts work, like Control Z and cutting. Dude, so I could be anywhere in the world, and as long as I've got my phone, I can edit. You're living in the future. I know, bro, isn't this mad? I found out about this today. I actually spent a freaking 40 minutes just editing, and I actually finished, pretty much finished off the Mongolia documentary that I needed to make. I read that there is a delay, so I thought that it was gonna be impossible to edit. Dude, I don't know if I'm just stupid, but I can't see the delay. It's not just the near zero latency that blew my mind, but it was crystal clear. Like it genuinely felt like I was using Windows on my S25 Edge in Dex mode. The only issue was Parsec for Android didn't have immersion mode. So when I press Alt Tab, it would Alt Tab on my Dex mode and not inside Windows. I didn't like having to always use the glasses as my monitor. I sometimes just want to use a portable monitor instead. So I took down my U-Perfect monitor from the Visa mount, chucked it in my bag and headed out to get some work done on a monitor. I'm gonna test what it's like to play games on it and also test what it's like to do some pro apps, 16 inch monitor that I'm gonna set up now, okay? Bro, look at this setup, mate. So let's open Parsec real quick. Connect this bad boy. Bro, would you look at that? Oh, bro, there's zero lag. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. Running off my phone. Gaming on Parsec was very mediocre, especially with a cellular network. The frame rates would drop randomly and this keyboard and mouse was pretty bad. I couldn't even shoot a gun for some reason. I'm sure there's a way to figure it out, but it didn't work out of the box. You might be wondering, what is that ultra thin portable monitor you're using for Dex mode? Glad you asked because I asked them. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I was filming this monitor, what are you? 
I'm trying to film the sponsor, Mia. Oh my goodness, what was that all about? Anyway. Because I asked them to sponsor this video again since it was the perfect match for Windows on Dex mode. This thing doubles up as both a portable 16 inch monitor for times like this, or for the past few months, I've been using it on a Visa mount as my third monitor with my MacBook Pro setup. 3K 120Hz OLED panel, 100% DCI P3 color, 16 by 10 aspect ratio, only 700-ish grams. It also comes with this carry case slash folding stand and all the cables you need to get started. I'll drop a link in the description. Go check it out. Just finished my first session uh, using Windows on Dex mode with a portable monitor. And the experience for editing was fine. The only problem was audio was a bit delayed when I use a Bluetooth earphone. Now, I edited half of this video actually on Dex mode using Parsec on this thing. And I didn't really have a problem when I was using those glasses. But as soon as I tried to use Bluetooth earphones, there was a delay and I just couldn't stand it. So that is an actual disappointment. The reason why I'm bringing these big ass mechanical keyboards is because I'm actually reviewing it. But in reality, the keyboard that I will take, there's this thing. I've showed this keyboard a couple of times in my other videos and people are like, where's the link? Give us the link. The reason why I'm not sharing the link is because the, the keyboard kind of sucks. Like I don't, I don't recommend it. That's why I'm not going to link it even in this video. But the idea is awesome. Check it out. You just go whoop, whoop. You've got this thing. Let me bring the glasses. Give me a second. And you got this. Do you know what I mean? I will be going back to New Zealand to do another shoot and I will bring this exact setup. This kit, this thing, I'll bring this thing or hopefully by then I'll bring the fold. And then uh, I'll bring this and then I'll pass that into my PC and see how it go. I think that's gonna be fun. There's one last thing I need to test and that is Parsec for Mac OS. All right, I've got my MacBook and follow me to my Samsung Dex device. I'm gonna disconnect from my Windows. Okay, and here you go, you see Mac? Connect. I'm connecting to the Mac. Ooh, okay, I'm in Mac OS. Okay, let's actually open a pro dude how clear is it can you guys see this this is like one to one okay so it seems like there is no delay when it comes to editing this is absolutely wild oh let's actually try this on the ipad there's no parsec app for ios or ipad i mean you got everything else steam link any desk, team viewer, you got everything else, you just don't have Parsec. Now, it's been about a week of using Windows and Dex mode and whatnot. And I tell you what, this wasn't hard. <laughs> this, this experiment was actually quite fun. Don't get me wrong, I think there is a place for it. I'm not sure. Because if you've always got an iPad in your bag, that's the problem. The iPad is the problem. Because if you've got an iPad, you can kind of do all the admin stuff. And if you want to do heavy work, do it at home. But you want to take the heavy work out, then just bring your MacBook Pro M1 Max. So it's like, if you've got an M1 Max MacBook Pro and an iPad, all of this stuff is all fun and games, but it's like, the, the biggest issue was the games not being as smooth. Like editing, I could sit down for, I think the longest I sat down was about two hours. Two hours, that's insane. But games, I couldn't pay, play any more than 10 minutes. I mean, I guess I could game in my bedroom using the bedroom TV via Dex mode and Parsec. Okay. Yo, baby, what are you doing? Are you scared or is it fun? Yeah, fun. <laughs> and it felt incredible to flick between Dex mode because Dex mode is good for when you just want to do light stuff like social media, stuff like that. You can't really do it on Windows. You know what I mean? You're not gonna do Instagram on the browser, right? Yeah, so like I flick between WhatsApp, I'm typing on my Dexmo, boom, boom, boom. Then I out tab back to PowerSec and I'm on Windows. Every morning I did my QT on Dex mode on the dining table. Then I had an ex post idea. So I logged into Windows, did some Photoshop, then quick shared the photo to my S25 Edge and posted it via Dex mode all from my phone. This, this was epic. 
Even though Dex mode can do Notion, it can do emails, it can do browsing, it can do calendars, it QuickBooks to send invoices and stuff like that. I'd rather do it on a desktop like Windows or a Mac OS, right? So that's when Parsec was, was amazing. So ah, another idea is I have a friend who has good internet connection. I have a dumb idea. Okay, let me have it. What if you edited off of my PC via Parsec? Yeah, I can. At I mean, home. I did that at the office. I so, get it. You just don't want to come see me. No, no, no. That's not it. <laughs> that's not it. Okay. Check this out. I am not controlling the computer and my editor over in a different suburb taking over my documentary edit to polish it up. That is sick. He's going in there. Look at him. Right now, he's actually editing like audio files and crap like that. The cool thing is I can do this stuff. Own using Dex mode. You know how I was saying, if you have an iPad, it just makes Dex mode and everything pointless, right? Because you've got an iPad and you've got M1 Max, MacBook Pro, so you've got kind of a desktop with a portable kind of admin machine. What if I stopped having a cry and picked up one of these things, bruh? This thing is technically the solution to everything. If I want the power, I pass it into my gaming PC. And if I want portability, it's portability. This is every Apple fanboy's wet dream. Subscribe to see that video. I'm going to be completely switching to Windows. Let's see how it goes.